Hi guys, welcome back to my channel to game together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette syndrome. Today I thought I would do a video surrounding vocal tics, but not just any vocal tics. I'm gonna talk about my top 10 weirdest vocal tics that I have currently. And guys, my vocal tics have gotten a lot worse recently and I got rice and I don't really know why. I just have a lot more of them. And I thought this would be a fun video to talk about my top 10 weirdest vocal tics. So let's just stop this intro and get into it. For those of you that don't know what Tourette syndrome is, it is a neurological disorder, which means it affects the brain and it causes individuals like me to make involuntary movements and sounds known as tics. And so I'm talking about the sound tics today, the vocal tics, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about my top 10 weirdest ones because guys, some of these are ridiculous. Who am I? For those of you new here, my name is Carly. I am 22 years old and I was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome when I was 12. So it's been a fairly long journey of dealing with tics and I get new tics all the time. They wax and wane, they come and go, but I'm always developing new ones. And guys, these vocal ones are bizarre. So yes, I got rice. Speaking of, my first weird vocal tic on my list here is saying, I got rice. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Couldn't tell ya. I, I like rice, I like eating it, but like, I got rice. I got rice in a bag. Um, it's a weird tick, and I say I got rice all the time. Every day I say at least once. And sometimes if I'm feeling it, I add in a bag after it. So I got rice in a bag, I got rice in a bag. Like that. <laughs> it makes no sense, I really don't understand. But I feel like that is, it's definitely valid to be on this list because like, I got rice? Why is that, why is that a tick? Like it's not even a fact, like most of the time I don't have rice. And I just I'm like, I got rice, but I don't have rice. That's number one. Number two is, oh my gosh you guys, I am obsessed with the name Jerry. Don't know why, I have an Uncle Jerry, but this is not the same Jerry. Sometimes I'll talk about Jerry for no reason, like Jerry did it, or like, Jerry's dead or whatever. Like I'll just say stuff about Jerry. No idea who this guy is. Just the name Jerry is really stuck in my head and oh, Jerry. Detective Jerry reporting for duty. That was the first Jerry take I had and now it's just progressed into a story about this Jerry character who, I don't know, I always don't do it Jerry. Yeah. That's one, don't do it. Jerry is a very common tick and I got rice and I don't understand, I don't, but Jerry is a tick that I, I don't know, it's weird, it's weird. And I have name ticks a lot, you guys. Like Jerry's just one of them, but like, I'm not gonna say the names, but my dad, some of his coworkers' names that he talks about are my ticks. Like I'll be like, name, I'll say their name and like, why? I don't know these people. If they knew I was saying their name as a tick, they'd be like, are you good? I just have like an infatuation with names for ticks, and I don't know why. So that's number two, Jerry. And Uncle Jerry, if you're ever watching this, like, I love you. This is not you, this is a different Jerry. Number three is one of my favorite ones. Like, ow, that I used to have. It was Butter the Crumpets, but it was in Butter of the Crumpets in a weird British accent, and it doesn't sound like my voice, like, butch of the crumpets. When I say it, it's like, I got rice. It's these ticks that I say, they're not really in my, they're not the same inflections I talk with. It's just like a completely different thing. And so, butter the crumpets is a good one. Um, it's good, so. <laughs> um, I think it's funny, but butch of the crumpets is weird, but that is another weird vocal tick. And I think it makes sense to be on this list because I'm Canadian, I don't eat crumpets. I met my lovely friend Madison from the UK and she introduced me to the world of crumpets and I got a crumpet tick, so that is number three. Number four is four. Number four is 20 
saying 20 like that, the number 27, and a bunch of other numbers. 20 and 7 are my two favorite, but sometimes it'll be like 29 or whatever, just numbers. I really like 20 and I really like 7. I don't know. And I say them kind of in a British accent sometimes and it's just a thing, so that's that's number whatever. Number 4? I don't know. I got rice. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, number five. This one only lasted a few days and I'm so lucky it came around Christmas time. <laughs> communism. I would just say communism for no reason. Communism like that. And you can see when I say communism, when I say these things, it's not me wanting to say them. And so why was communism one of my ticks? Don't know. But that might be like number one on the weird list because who the heck has a tick of communism? I don't know. Weird. <laughs> bag of rice it's weird and the rice one is my most prominent one so there we go number six is one that also lasted very briefly but i think it's just so funny that i want to include it um it, i got rice it's um i like your hair for no reason i'll just be like i like your hair and i like your hair and like even if i don't like your hair i mean whatever but like i will say i like your hair in a very convincing tone and like it's just a thing that I say, and it's a vocal tick. And when I say I like your hair, I like your hair. It's like, it's a really good tick it's a compliment, but I'm like, that's not what I'm meaning to say. But like, I like your hair. So there you go, I like your hair. Number seven is one of my like least favorite ones because Maddie, if you're watching this, you trigger this for me sometimes. <laughs> but come at me, bro. It's, come at me, bro. And when my friend Maddie says these certain words, when she says, I'm gonna get you, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I always say it really, come at me, bro. I Come at me, bro. I hate this one because come at me, bro. When I start it, come at me, bro. It never ends once I start it. And I've just, come at me, bro. Wrecked my whole night because now, come at, yeah. Stop, take a breath. Come at me, bro. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. That's another one that's on my list saying shut up. I hate it. That's the worst tick ever. No, but um, come at me bro. This, that one is one on my list that I think is so stupid. I hate it. And Maddie, I love ya. But oh gosh, that is one that I just hate. I hate that tick. And it started when we were playing Among Us and it's just kind of stuck and it comes and goes, but like, ugh, come at me bro. When I say it, it's just annoying. Number eight is so random. It's, wanna play chess? want to play chess I just want to play chess this video is such a trigger I hate it I hate triggering myself for this but it's for the views for you guys but like guys um I got rice um wow I got rice um hi um so when I say want to play chess that is a tick and it is weird because I don't want to play chess when I'm saying want to play chess it's just a thing that I say and <laughs> sometimes my friends are like, um, no, I don't want to play chess. And I'm like, I don't either. I just said it. I don't want to play chess with you, okay? Like, I'm sorry. I got rice in a bag. Okay, whatever. Number nine is my baby shark tick, which has lasted a super long time. It's just where I say baby shark do 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 do. Or I include a different name to like two syllables, like do do shark do 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 do. Like, like, I don't know what's a word. Crazy shark, do, 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 whatever. Something crazy shark, crazy shark. Stop. Um, so I take a two syllable word and add shark, do, 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 do after it. And that has been around for a while and I hate it. So that's number nine. And number 10, finally we're done because guys, I'm triggering myself so hard. This is a freaking trigger. Okay, whatever. <laughs> number 10 is go away is my go away, go away tick which I also got from my lovely friend Madison I love you Maddie but go away um go away go away um that is a tick and I never want people to go away like please don't go but like I say it and I'm like I'm sorry don't go and ugh, I got rice in a bag and it's just 40 it's just um so Oh, shut up. All of these takes are freaking stupid. So that's the end. I'm triggering myself so hard. This is not good. This is this, this is not good. This is not good. Why did I do this to myself? Who am I? 24601. 
Oh, Lay Miz. That was a Lay Miz reference. <sighs> like a race in a bag. Okay, we're ending this because this is killing me. This is freaking killing me. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. Race, stop. <sighs> Why did I do this to myself? Okay, whatever. Let's end it here because I need to go. This is not good. Um. <laughs> oh. This was my top 10 weirdest vocal tics, and guys, I hate them. Um, I got rice. Guys, this is, I don't like my vocal tics. I think they're stupid, and I suppress them all the time. My parents never hear them because I just suppress them around them. But when I'm in my room, I'll be like, I got rice all the time, and I'm like, stop, I don't even have rice. Who am I? And 24601, and <sighs> I hate them, so. I triggered myself for you guys because I love you all and if you want to continue to support me please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment down below saying hi who am I <laughs> leave a comment down below saying hi telling me what you want to see in future videos or letting me know what your weirdest vocal tick is because guys mine are stupid as heck so Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I need to go. This is dumb. Please subscribe if you want to stay tuned to educational content as well as rice. As well as some of my life stories of living with Tourette's syndrome for over 10 years. Subscribe if you want to stay. What is going on? Subscribe if you frick chicken. Yeah, okay. We're going. Subscribe, please, if you want. Um, have a good night. As always, we're going together, we're laughing together, and we're taking together. Goodbye, bye, 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 bye.